Good morning, family. This is Miss Norma. Amen. This is our reading for March the 9th, and it's titled Fancy Footprints. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Amen. Our scripture lesson is 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 12. Let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you this morning, Lord, for your blessing, your healing, your restoration, and each and every one of our lives. We thank you, Lord, for covering, Lord, those who we are praying for, Lord. We thank you, Father, for our personal, um, our personal perseverance, Lord, in being determined, Father, to follow you. Lord, thank you for all <clears throat> that come by to visit. Thank you for the steadfast subscribers. Blessing and healing to each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So our scripture lesson on fancy, fancy footprints um, is from 2 Corinthians 10, 12, and it reads like this. We do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who commend themselves. When they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they are not wise. Amen. My husband and I love to camp at Bruno Dune State Park <clears throat> with its vast sand dunes rising from the desert floor like ancient pyramids. During the day, we hike and catch and release bluegill in the small lakes at the foot of the dunes. At night, we turn our eyes toward heaven and let our spirits soar toward our creator in hope and faith again and again. Early one evening, as we walked down the sandy trail toward our campsite, we passed a young woman who seemed very much out of place. Camping in the dunes, at, the, at this Idaho campground means finding sand everywhere. You breathe it, you cook it, and sometimes you even eat it. But this young woman was impeccably dressed. Even her dog looked like one of those top breeds you only see with celebrities. Soon after we passed her, I noticed the most unusual set of footprints dotting the sand behind her. No doubt, they came from some very expensive shoes. So I immediately assumed they belonged to her. When we arrived <clears throat> at our campsite, I was surprised to see the same shoe prints tattooing the sand all over our campsite. I was, I almost expected to find her in front of me. Then a thought struck me. I grabbed my foot and looked under my sandals. And what do you know? Those footprints belong to me. I was the, quote, fancy camper with the cool shoes. I laughed at myself, suddenly aware of the lesson my Heavenly Father was trying to teach me. We all, we are all unique and impressive in our own way. We, measures, we measure others based on their outward appearance, their looks, education, and their social or economic status. The Lord measures us very different by a very different standard. He measures the heart. I am so thankful I serve a God who values us all the same, amen, and does not make distinctions between his earthly children. The promise is that nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Romans chapter eight, verse 39. And this love has nothing to do with our status or image, our education or our worth, but rather with a God who never changes, a God whose love 
for all of us will always remain. Amen. What comfort that brings when we stop to think about it. Amen. A reading for March the 9th was written by Olga Valdivia. Amen. Fancy footprints. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord, when you bring lessons of humility into our lives, Father. And Lord, as we pray, Lord, show me myself. You show us ourselves. Thank you for this reading. Thank you for all my YouTube and TikTok um, subscribers and followers, Lord. I thank you, Father, just for being you and you're big enough and have room enough for all of us. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day, family. This is Miss Norma signing off, and by his grace, I will be seeing you again shortly. Have a wonderful day. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning, wherever you are. Have a wonderful day. And remember, the greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.